Hi, welcome to Beyond Transmission. My name is Trevor Hagen, and today we are in beautiful Vietnam. It is very warm, and I apologize if I'm sweating all over this video, but it has been an amazing experience. I've been able to meet a lot of people and have really been enjoying the culture here. And I'm really excited today because we're gonna be talking about something that gets a little bit deep. You know, this question of who we really are is so far reaching and I've tried to draw from my own personal experience, because that's all I can really do, but the very asking of this question suggests that there is an actual plausible answer as if our being was a fixed independent thing. And I think that when we ask ourselves this question, there's really two parts of it. One, who we are as in what identity we have in this life, and two, who we are at the very core of our existence. Now again, I wanna emphasize that I am not here to preach or convince anyone of anything, but this is just me sharing a newfound way of looking at things that has really intrigued me and has allowed me to simply open up myself to more love, acceptance, and information. I mean, it makes sense to always be looking for this deeper sense of self. Um, to become intimately aware of your thoughts, feelings, hopes, fears, it's obviously always in the back of our minds. I know it's always in the back of mine. So the key is to engage your sense of self as malleable, more like a willow tree than a sturdy oak. Because the willow is flexible, it survives the storm and it bends with the wind, whereas the more rigid oak is more likely to crack and break in the wind. And I don't want any of you to break in half during this video. So if you're watching this in hopes of confirmation based on assumptions that you've made in your life up to this point, then you might be disappointed. I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. What probably confuses us um, about who we really are probably begins with the fact that we feel we have to be so many different things to so many different people all the time. For example, go ahead and ask yourself, who am I? And you might think, well, I'm a mother, or I'm a father, or I'm a son, I'm a daughter, or are you a best friend? Um, how about a husband or a wife? And what about your professional self? So you'll notice that all of these different personas are actually very different in how they act, react, and even feel. Some are much more relaxed and others are a lot more like uptight, even eloquent. So the question is, out of all of these invented personas, which one is you? Or could it be that actually none of these invented personas are you? You see, these identities are merely different shades of your ego. The ego is this idea of separation between us and everyone else. And it's this idea that we are specific to this body and this body alone. And it also, it wants to feel like it fits in naturally with the social and cultural setting that surrounds it. And that makes sense, but your ego is also this idea that you are distinct from everything else, as if you could separate trees from nature or the waves from the ocean. And so the more you buy into this idea of you as being separate and disconnected from everyone else, or you could say without divine nature, the more you feed that ego. You could say that whatever ego or character you decide to play in this life is the artificial or superficial you but it's not who you are at the core. The real you is much greater than all of that. The universe exists in a state of flowing potential. And, and this, is, this is quantum physics down to the unified field all the way to the cosmos. And it's essential to understand that we are part of that universe. It flows within us and without us. So the goal then is to access that potential, keeping the parts of our identity that continue to serve us well, and shedding the old habitual pieces that constrain us. This process is known as positive disintegration. This permits us to find balance between the extremes and enter into a relationship with self that commits to our own personal evolution and progress. The point is, you at the source are not your ego. You are not your brain that will be buried someday. You, the real you, is the observer of all of this that is found at the root of pure consciousness. 
Hello. 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 Uh, the most beautiful part of this is that we are all able to understand this for ourselves, but only by transcending that ego. And that's most effectively done through methods of meditation, which we'll cover more in depth in another video. But all of that consciousness that exists in the universe is the consciousness of the universe. And that's what makes you special. You're very much that consciousness operating this body and this brain, not the other way around. And so when you realize this, you can say that you are now once again who you were when you were really you. You can observe and see the path laid out right in front of you. You will know what your purpose is and the right steps that you need to take. And obviously by tapping into this and being self-aware brings benefits to our life beyond what I could mention in this video, but most would say it's the key to authenticity, um, confidence, peace, and even pure bliss. You might not be able to change who you are at the core, but you can decide what role you'd like to play well in this life. And when you figure that you have divinity within you, and that you can play in this beautiful thing called life as whatever you'd like, things do get exciting. Because you have the power to put on who you want to be in this world, and you can do it without hypocrisy between different versions of yourself. But what's more than that is the feeling of who we are at the core, it really connects us all, and it gives us this divine gift in the sense that we are naturally then driven to be more loving and service-oriented. So for the trees to know that they came from the seeds, they have to stop looking for the answers in the breeze. In other words, if you really want to know who you are, then it's time to stop looking without you and begin the search within you. So it's either all of that or we're a simulation. One of the two. Anyway, that's it for now, but feel free to subscribe here and most importantly, stay curious. We'll see you next time.